Hi, my name is Anita. I am part of the NZ Intersoft Systems in the Application Support Team. Today we are going to go through navigating FinPower Connect. We're going to look at general orientation around the screen, including menu shortcut keys, grids, toolbars, task panes, and scripting options. This top line is called our menu options. Some of these will not be available particularly if your client doesn't have account applications module in the license, this button will not show as well. If you're a user, you may have some of these also like um, permissioned out. For example, the ad admin menus or the admin libraries will, are not normally available for users. This next area here is called the toolbar. This can be customized and we'll come back to it shortly. This area down the side is called the task pane and we'll come back to that as well. Along the bottom, we have the status bar. Tells me I'm at logged, who I'm logged in as. Has any warning, warnings that have occurred? Touch screen mode full screen and message handler. Sometimes you may see a warning message like this. This database is set to Brisbane time and I'm in New Zealand time. So that's why it's showing me a warning. So firstly, we'll have a look at the menu shortcut keys. These can be found in some of the menus, for example, under the account, and they will show like this. If I hit the F8 key on my keyboard, it'll open the accounts form. Same goes for a client. If I hit F7, it'll open the client's form. The other very useful one is F1. If I hit F1, then it will take me to the corresponding help page. The other place to look is in the edit menu. There's a number of shortcut keys under here. And also, if you go to the quick start guide and navigate to using shortcut keys, there's a big list there. These are useful for navigating around from Power Connect very quickly. Next, we'll have a look at grids. I'm going to use an account and go to the transaction screen. You can show and hide columns by right mouse clicking and bringing this mini menu option up. If I click on column chooser, then I can add or take away columns as I need to. Once you're finished, I suggest you use the save grid layout button so that the grid looks the same next time you come back in to view it. The other thing you can do from the right mouse click option is export all of your transactions to a spreadsheet or whatever else you need, what other format you require. The other thing you can do is simply select by holding down your control key, the individual transactions you, you require to export. Right mouse click, export, and only the transactions I have selected have been exported. Next, we'll have a look at the task pane, which is this area here. The front page or the house is the shortcuts. And this can be added to or, or removed, whatever you need to do. 
The next tab is the bookmarks tab, and this is very useful for where you may be working on a number of accounts and you need to access them easily and quickly. In the top right hand corner is the bookmarks button. By clicking this or unclicking it will add or remove it to the list. The third tab is the search button. And this will give you a number of options to search by and will search by areas that you have set within the global settings or the user preferences. Um, mine showing date of birth and branch. Now, if I just come down here, click tools, global settings, search, I can see my smart tags that I have added. So I've got date of birth and account branch. If I go back to the shortcuts, on the front here are a number of options that I can use. By clicking on customization, I can have my task pane on the left, on the right, or I can hide it. The other thing is that there is a collapse button. I can add new task pane groups or shortcuts to this by simply adding or customize. So I'm going to click to customize and add a whole new group. I'm going to add another option in here. And there's my new group there. I can share this with other people by exporting it. Or I can use the user preferences and share it. So this is my user, Anita. It's going to log out. And I'm going to share my user preferences from the admin user to Anita. I'm going to untick all the user preferences because I only want to share toolbars and other settings. Now, if I go back to my user and log in, I have now shared everything that was on the other user. I have a number of extra ones on here because I was testing in the background. The other thing you can do with your shortcuts key is you can drag and drop directly from the account. So if I'm particularly looking at the financial page, I just drag and drop. I can also do the same with another page, drag and drop, and they will appear on the bottom. Now, if we have a look at the toolbars, this is this area along the top. You can add to these, you can add a new toolbar by hitting the add, and then add in any options that you require. This is particularly useful for when and on occasions that people don't have the task pane showing. And then I've added that to the top and it's very easy to get rid of it as well. And finally, there is some scripting options to change the user interface. If I go to tools, global settings, 
user interface. I have added a script in here. Um, hasn't got much in it, but this is where I add it. And that is used to tweak various user interface elements. And from my accounts menu option for this particular one, it's added these two additional options. And that is the end of our session. Thank you.